They said it could not be done. They said it was not possible. No way, they said, could Blender ever render a mesh in real time. They said the KX Mex Mesh Proxy or whatever it was called was the only way. Time and time again I proved them wrong. And for one more time I am going to do it again. Behold. Real time mesh manipulation in the Blender game engine. Allow me to show you how it is. Welcome back. Coming right here from Lovology.com and welcome back. Indeed, indeed, indeed. This is real-time mesh manipulation. I have a simple scene here. Simple little triangle pyramid in there. This code is in the description below. You can copy and paste it into your own blender. Little simple keyframe thing. Or keyboard thing. Spacebar set to it, wire it into a Python controller, set the Python controller to the mesh deform, scripts not module. As you can see here, import BGE, get the current controller, own the controller, uh, get the object that owns the controller, grab the mesh list, get the first mesh object, and then get the first ver vertex of the material. And this, and this. Make sure in your material that you have backs, you have back face culling off. Otherwise, you'll end up with something really weird. And then, behold, real time mesh manipulation. Of course, I can always add a minus onto the Z head, as you can see, X Y Z, and it'll go down. I'll leave you with this. It's very, very simple. You can get other vertices with this part here, but I'll just stick with the one I have now. One of the most simple things ever. A few lines of code, and you have real-time mesh manipulation. People said it was not possible. Anyways, I will leave you with this. Thank you for your support. We are celebrating 104 subscribers. And stand by for more tutorials. I'm Coach Riley, and I will, leave you, I will leave you with this. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Thank you.